Hello my crafty friends, this is Sarah at Jujube DIY. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you 11 super easy, customizable crafts that don't require any kind of crazy equipment. So stay tuned to find out how I made them. Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. I am so excited to get to share this product with you. Hippo contacted me and asked me to demonstrate their water slide decal paper for you. So that's what we're doing today. They sent me this package that includes 20 sheets of uh, A4 size paper. It is good with your inkjet and it is clear. On the back, you get all of your operating instructions. It's super simple to use. Um, and it's kind of almost foolproof really, I think. So there's a shiny side and a dull side to your paper. You're gonna wanna make sure that you print on the shiny side. Once your printer ink has dried, you're going to get a clear spray of some sort and you're going to spray it three times, waiting 10 minutes in between each spray. I used that Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Spray and it worked awesome. I will have coupon codes and the link in my description box down below for the, this product. So these are what I created. I went on to Etsy and I purchased some digital files and I put them together in Microsoft Publisher. So we're gonna start off with this little fox that I put together. This um, was a little fox and a pumpkin, a little floral piece, and then I wrote foxy fall on it. <laughs> and I'm just going to fussy cut this out. So if you don't know what fussy cutting in is, that means just to cut close to the edge of your image. So I'm just using some sharp scissors here. And as you can see, I'm really using the like turning the paper and not really my scissors and that just helps give you a nice flawless finish to your fussy cutting so I am doing a ki kiss cut <laughs> who say that ten times fast kiss cut which means I'm leaving a little bit of white around the whole entire edge which won't really matter too much because the paper is clear so you won't really see that part of it but it'll make it a little bit easier to get onto my um, project now for the fun part we're going to put this right into some water so your water slide decal and the backing paper just all goes into the water and you're going to wait 30 to 60 seconds so while we are waiting for that, I am going to prepare my surface. This was a metal tag from the Dollar Tree that I just painted with a matte white spray paint, or I'm sorry, a gloss spray paint or semi-gloss actually. <laughs> it was a semi-gloss paint. <laughs> so what you do is you're gonna wet your surface. I'm showing you that you can use your hand or your finger to wet down the surface, but I like to use a spray bottle. So I just misted the whole surface. And as you can see there, that water slide decal is just really sliding off of that background super easy. So you're gonna put it down. You're gonna hold the very top part of your image. Um, and then you're gonna pull that backing paper down so that it's separating. So that all you're left is the clear water slide decal on top. And as you can see, because I added water to the surface, it is movable. So it's really important to add that water and use a decent amount of water. That way it um, slides really nicely and then you can move it wherever you want. Once you get it positioned just how you like, you're gonna take a dry paper towel and you're gonna start dabbing the surface just to get off any extra water. Then you're gonna use your finger um, to hold the slot the decal down and then you're just gonna press out gently the water that's underneath your decal so you're trying to get this as dry as possible and you can see there that I messed up a little bit where the water slide decal kind of came up and it made a little um, wrinkle in it 
and so I'm gonna try to lift it up and it was not lifting up so you know what I do I just spray a little bit of water on it and voila we can try again it's super easy to use guys I would this is actually the first time I've ever used this water slide decal paper right here on this video with this image I've never touched it before never even used it and it was almost foolproof and look at how cute that is like I am just in love with this little fox <laughs> so cute so to finish off our little project here I am just gonna paint some beads again anything that I use um, in my projects, I will leave in my description box down below all the colors and if there's anything that you are curious about that you can't find, always feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know um, what it is you're looking for and I will try to get back to you and let you know what it is. So I'll just paint those beads up. Next I'm going to take this twine that I purchased um, from the Crafter Square section and we're just going to put our beads onto that. Now I'm gonna create a tassel for this. So I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers about a half a bazillion times. Um, really, I have no idea how many times it was, maybe 30 or so. And then I'll just cut that off. And then with those, um, I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> yes. I'm going to tie off um, my string right next to my beads there. And then I'm going to just tie this these loops like right onto those beads there so that's the easiest way that i know how to add a tassel onto um, my garland that's just how i like to do it so we're just going to add a little bit of twine at the top there to create that classic tassel look and we'll just hot glue that down And then we'll just give this a cute little haircut, make it all even and nice. And look at how cute this is. Uh, you guys, I think you could walk into Michael's and buy something just like this for five times the price. This cost me a little over a dollar to make. For our next project, we're gonna take one of these bottle cap tin galvanized tins that you can get at the Dollar Tree and we are going to take this water slide so now this is a bigger one so you want to be careful that it doesn't curl in on itself so you use your fingers and you only have to hold it for just a couple of seconds and you can see it kind of is curling up on itself but it's not going to curl up on itself too much and then it's going to relax into a more you know um, plain state <laughs> plain flat <laughs> and then again preparing our surface with the spray and then just adding our water slide decal and it's so easy you can just move this around until you get it where you want it exactly dabbing off at the extra water on the top and then using my fingers to push out the any extra water underneath the decal and then you let that dry for you know an hour or so just to make sure that there's no water underneath your decal so that it doesn't go sliding around or making any like wrinkles so then i wanted to embellish this little cap and make it look super cute so i'm going to add some nautical rope and then some florals to the top and you guys will be able to see what i am doing as i go so as i mentioned before i am doing a giveaway today I wanted to gift um, you guys, one lucky winner will be gifted a sheet of the water slide decals that I'm using today and also a sheet of the heat transfer paper um, with the images that I'm using later on in this video. So all you have to do to enter is 
to uh, leave me a comment. That's all you have to do. Just leave me any kind of a comment that you want. Let me know what you think of this water slide decal, what you're going to maybe use it on, what you're excited about, anything that you want to leave me a comment about. Just leave me a comment and you'll be entered in to win. And we will draw on, um, let's see, how about September 13th we will draw. And then I will gift a second set of the water slide decals and the heat transfer paper with the images that you're seeing here today um, to a second person if I hit 3,000 views on this video. So make sure that you are um, hitting the like button and sharing this video. And when we get to 3,000 views on it, I will give away a second set of um, the decals that you're seeing me use here today. So here I'm just making a little swag for the top of this little bottle cap. Basically there are holes in the top from where it was, um, where it could be hung. And I took the twine that was in there out because I didn't want to make this a hanging piece. So I wanted to put something up there that I could cover those holes with. So basically that is the reason that I'm adding this little swag. Plus it looks cute. <laughs> And don't you just love this little saying, all at once summer collapsed into fall. Fall is my favorite time of year, I just love it. So here's a look at how this turned out. I think this is so cute and so high end, like you would never know you made this yourself. Okay, for our next project, we're gonna take one of these Dollar Tree easels from the Crafter Square section. And then I just made this little fall bucket list decal Again, putting it in our water, preparing our surface, waiting the 30 to 60 seconds, and then as you can see, it just kind of slides right out. It's, it is, I can't even tell you how easy it is. I think I've tried, but you will just have to try it yourself to know exactly how easy this stuff is to use. How cute is that? Next, I want to add some of this nautical rope. This is the thinner nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I'm just kind of showing you the difference there. And we're just going to go around the whole outside edge of this easel. So if you start at the bottom like I did, don't glue your easel stand to your nautical rope because then you will have problems. <laughs> so yeah. And then once all of the nautical rope is on, I wanted to create just a very simple little bow. This is just kind of a, I don't even know what you kind of bow you would call this, but I'm cutting out a piece of this gingham ribbon. And then I'm just going to find the middle and hot glue the ends to the middle to create the little loops there. And then I'm going to take some jute twine and I am just going to wrap the center to make it look more like a little bow. And I'll just hot glue the jute twine down, clip off ends, and then I will glue that right onto my easel board here. So adorable. And you could do like Thanksgiving menu 
Like how cute would that be on this little easel? Or I mean, just the possibilities are endless with this stuff. You can do anything you want because you can print anything, whatever you want. It's awesome. So for this project, I'm taking these Dollar Tree houses that were out a while back and they had those sayings on them. Um, I just spray painted the bottom parts of these with some spray paint to get rid of the words. And now I am just going to add my own little decals right onto these little houses. I hope that you are enjoying this video today. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. And here these are so cute. And yeah, I mean, the possibilities for customizing these are endless. For our next project, I found this little picture at my Goodwill and I spray painted it all white. And this is the little decal that I'm adding onto this picture. Now I wanted to show you this project because it is a rounded surface. And um, I didn't have any problem using this decal paper. Now, if you were, you know, if the decal was any bigger, it might be a little more difficult to use. But um, with this size, it, it um, folded down on, onto itself perfectly. And I can show you here in a minute where the wrinkles are where it kind of folded down onto itself to um you know to so that it would lay flat basically and you can't even hardly see where it was so there's a little place right there on the pumpkin where it kind of folded over on itself and then just down here at the bottom other than that it laid perfectly flat and was just went on perfectly like I don't even know. <laughs> so easy and so cute. Okay, for our last water slide decal project, I wanted to create a mug. So I made this little image and I just love it because I am just a girl who loves fall. <laughs> uh, but think about how, like, you could put pictures of your kids or your grandkids or take pictures of their projects or whatever you wanted to put on a mug you could easily do this yourself you just have to make sure that you hand wash your mugs don't put them in the dishwasher it's going to be like your um, vinyl that you would use and but i've used my mug a few times and it's still just beautiful so now we are moving on to the heat transfer paper for dark fabric. Now you don't have to use this for dark fabric. You can use it on light fabric too. Um, it just is basically printing on a white background. Again, all the instructions are on the back here and it tells you your printer settings that you need to use. So it's pretty easy. And it comes with 10 sheets of the transfer paper and then you've got a couple other sheets in there for adding your transfers onto your fabric so there's some um, they call it grease paper but it's like parchment paper and then there's a white side and a side that has blue crisscrosses on the back of it so obviously you're going to print on the white side and then again just fussy cutting out your images so if you have a Cricut, which I do, but I wanted to show you, you know, how to do this if you don't have a Cricut. Um, but if you do have a Cricut, you can upload your images into your Cricut and then you can just cut it with your Cricut. So that's really easy too. But I don't mind doing a little fussy cutting, especially on images like this where the, it's not too detailed 
and it's super easy to do. So again, I am doing a kiss cut, leaving a little bit of a white edge. And this time that white edge will show because this um, is white transfer paper, basically. So if you don't want that white edge, then you're just gonna cut right along the image um, so that you don't have that white edge. But I wanted that little bit of border on my project. <laughs> And these little sleepy foxes are so cute. I just love them. So I cut out some black uh, fabric with white polka dots. And once my image was cut, I just did a little, um, just went over my fabric real quick with the iron just to make sure there weren't any wrinkles in it. And then you're just gonna peel off this backing paper. So it's just kind of, you gotta get in there and you gotta peel it away from it the other one now this part on the back of the instructions wasn't super clear so yeah you just make sure that you're um, taking that backing off and then laying your project onto your fabric face side up then you're gonna put your paper your parchment paper over the top and then you're gonna iron it in a circular motion for two minutes. Now there are different instructions if you have a heat press. I do not have a heat press, so I am using my iron and that's what it says. And look at how pretty that is on the fabric. So I cut out this other little fox here and I'll put it on that bit of fabric. Now we're going to put two pieces of fabric together. Basically, we're gonna make little tiny pillows and I am demonstrating this using hot glue because I know not everybody has a sewing machine or can use a sewing machine. Um, I do suggest that you use a sewing machine if you have one or even hand stitch this. The, the hot glue is very bulky for little pillows. So it turns out, okay, I'm, I'm not, um, 100% happy with how they turned out if I'm being honest but they're okay so you're gonna leave a little opening um, at the bottom of your pillow so that you can turn your fabric right side out so you're gluing them um, nice sides together basically your your uh, right side is what they call that of the fabric you're gonna glue your right sides together and then you're gonna turn it right side out. And you can see here in just a minute, like the corners just don't poke out as nice as if they were sewn together. So even if you have to like hand sew this, I would suggest that over hot glue for sure. Next, I'm just gonna take some polyfill and I am going to stuff my little pillows so you can use an old pillow if you want, or any um, you know, cotton balls or little scraps of fabric or anything you want to fill your little pillows. And I'm not filling them too full. I just kind of wanted to add a little bit of poof to them, not a whole lot of bulk. So then I'm going to hot glue that little spot at the bottom closed. And here's our little pillow. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I love, I do love how, like the concept of it. I think it's really, really cute, but I just wasn't happy with corners mostly. <laughs> just trying to like pull them out and they're just kind of like blah. So anyhow, that's just my opinion on it. <laughs> if you wanna recreate this project and use hot glue, then I think that is perfectly fine. Um, so to kind of hide those corners on that particular pillow, especially the other one did better, but this one wasn't quite as good. So I am just gonna create some little twine bows to go into the corner to kind of cover up those funky flat corners, basically. <laughs> and I thought that this ended up looking a lot cuter and I was more happy with the end result.
and there they are. I love those little sleepy foxes, they're so cute. So for this project, I wanted to create a little mini banner. Basically, most of these items I'm kind of creating for a tear tray. So I wanted to create a little mini banner. So I cut out these pumpkins and then I'm gonna add them to the black and white fabric again. And I will do the same thing, peeling off the back and then using my iron on them for two minutes. And this is how they turn out once they are all adhered and I'm going to show you like when you print it out it looks more dull but when you actually put it onto your project it like brightens up quite a bit so don't be scared if it looks a little dull when you print it out um, once you add that heat onto it it just I don't know why but it really makes it a lot more vibrant so then I'm gonna add these little fabric squares to some little bit of burlap. And I'll just hot glue those on. And then I'll hot glue those little burlap pieces onto a piece of jute twine. And you have yourself a cute little tear tray banner. Again, all of these images that I'm using will be in the giveaway. So um, if you wanna enter into the giveaway, make sure you comment down below and one lucky winner will win the heat transfer set and the water slide decal set. So I'm gonna take this um, palette from the Dollar Tree and I did a coat of antique wax on it. And then I cut out these pumpkins fussy cut them and then added them to the fabric and then cut the fabric out. Now I'm adding a layer of the satin Mod Podge onto the back of it. And I'm going to glue this down to my little palette sign. And then I'm gonna Mod Podge over the top. So I didn't think about it really, but <laughs> um, uh, the, there's ink on the project. So of course, a inkjet printer will smear if you put something wet over the top. So as you can see, the welcome to our pumpkin patch smeared a tiny bit when I put the Mod Podge over the top. Um, once it was dry, it looked a lot better. I was kind of concerned. It looks a little more rustic and just kind of worn um, instead of really super smeared. And you'll see that here in just a second. So, but when it was wet, I was really kind of freaking out about it because I was like, oh my gosh, I just ruined it, but no, it was okay. So I'm just gonna add some little bit of jute twine on the ends here just to, uh, you know, make it, give it a little something extra. And that's all there is to this project. I think this one turned out adorable as well. So here is a look at everything on the tear tray. I think everything is so cute. And honestly, I feel like any of this stuff you could go to a store and buy. Like it looks store-bought to me and I just love that. I think it's really a fun way to create custom items for your home or for your tear trays or gifts whatever like the, it, the possibilities really are endless with this and i just am really excited to have been given the opportunity to try this stuff out so i hope that you guys will give it a try too let me know what was your favorite project from today i am looking forward to that don't forget to leave a comment to enter in for the giveaway and when i hit 3,000 views on this video i will give that second set away so i hope you guys all have a happy healthy and blessed day and i will talk to you next time bye